Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners, wherever you might be listening from. Welcome to yet another interesting news. A public affairs commentator, Shil Sani, has said that Nigerians will soon beg to remain in poverty. Shil Sani has said Nigerians will soon beg to rem- beg the federal government to leave them in poverty. Shil Sani explained that the poverty they know is better than the unknown. Shil Sani was reacting to the federal government's promises to lift Nigerians out of poverty. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Pro- Poverty Elevation, Peter Aedu, has assured that the federal government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria would lift 133 million Nigerians out of poverty. Better Edo, who said the feat would be achieved through the backing of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Ashwa Jubala Metunobo, different interventions and initiative meant to reduce poverty. According to Better Edu, what is most important is that we will keep our focus on lifting 133 million Nigerians out of poverty. Reacting, the former Cardinal State Central Senator faulted the same promises made by the previous government. Tweeting on his ex and formerly known as Twitter, Senator Sheosani wrote, The past government promised to lift the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria out of poverty. The present government is promising to lift the people out of poverty. We are reaching a point where the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria will beg the federal government to please leave them in poverty. The poverty you know is better than the poverty that you don't know. Shehusan, who is a Nigerian senator, an author, playwright, and a human rights activist. Shehusan is the president of the Civil Rights Congress of Nigeria, CRCN, and the chairman of the Andi and Africa. He was a leading figure in the struggle for the restoration of the democracy in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has been arrested and jailed by successful past military regimes in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was released from life imprisonment when democracy was restored in Nigeria in 1999. He contested and won the Kaduna State Central Senatorial District on the platform of the All Progressive Congress on the 28th of March 2015. Shio Sani was born on the 29th of August 1967 in Tudunwada, Kaduna State. He had his primary school at the local government's education authority, LGEA, Madarawa, Kaduna State, between 1975 and 1980. He enrolled at Government Day Secondary School, Kagara, Niger State, from 1980 to 1984 and proceeded to the Government Science College School, Kagara, Niger State. He went to Kaduna State Polytechnic from 1984 to 1993, and he earned an associate degree in Agricultural Engineering. Shehusani, during his school days at Kaduna State Polytechnic, he was a student union activist. He was Chairman Central Mobilization Committee of Pan-African Students Organization and President African Democratic Youth Congress. He served as social director of Kaduna State Students Union. He came, his, Shehusani came from a Nigerian middle class family. His father was a production manager. His father had a well stocked library where Sony advanced his studies through literacy, literary knowledge, and was especially influenced on books propounded the idea of socialism and politics of the left. This being a period of massive inflow of rich, literature from Eastern Europe. The exposure of books helped shape his thought and left his perception of life, as well as exposing him to the reality and the distance brought to the society by military dictatorship. Shehusani was equally influenced by his mother, who was the community woman leader. From Cardinal's Polytechnic, Shehusani plunged into national activism. He was introduced to the Campaign for Democracy, CD, Nigeria's umbrella pro-democracy group, 
by activists like Femi Falano, Bekolam Somkuti, and thereafter served as the Northern Coordinator and National Vice Chairman of the group. He was first detained in July 1993 under the regime of General Ibrahim Babangida. His offenses then was that he advocated for the revalidation of the June 12, 1993 presidential polls won by the late Chief M.Q. Abiola. Before his several incarceration, Sonny co-founded the Movement of Unity and Progress and teamed up with other northern progressives such as Abubakar Dagiwa Umar, Bala Usman, James Baba Magaji, and Balara bin Musa to fight the actualization of the June 12 and North presidential election and other causes. Shiusani, under President Olusha Gomba's administration, was appointed as a member of the African Union African Peer Review Mechanism, member of the United Nations Reform Committee, appointed by Nigerian President as a member of the Presidential Committee on Prison Reforms. Shiusani, was also the Presidential Committee on Conflict Resolution, member of the Niger State Judicial Commission of Inquiry, member of the National Political Reform Conference, member of the Charles Taylor Investigation Committee, also appointed by Nigerian government as a board of member of the Nigerian Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative. Sheo Sani was a member of the Presidential Committee on National Security and Civic Responsibility. Sheo Sani has, has many literacy works to his credit, including Killing Fields, Poverty in Northern Nigeria, Political Assassination in Nigeria, Youth as Vanguard in a Battle Against Corruption, Scorpio, Scorpion Under Pelio, Civilian Dictator of Africa, All is Wrong, Can Yara Dua Get His Right, Betrayal and Society, The Train of Cardona, Phantom Chris Head, Prison Anthology, The Poem of Peace and the Season of Bloodshed, Hatred for Black People, Nigerian and Ethiopia, An Analysis of Historical Ties, Rebellious Ideas, Protest and Freedom, The Children of Joss, Betrayal and Society. In 2003, Sho Sani contested for the Senate under the Alliance for Democracy and lost to Senator Mukta Arua of the Our Nigerian People Party. In 2011, he contested for the Senate under Congress for Progressive Change and lost to Senator Sani Saleh in the primaries. In 2015, Sheo Sani won the Senate seat after defeating Saleh in the primaries and defeated Senator Muka in the general election. On the 4th of September 2015, he became the first and the only Nigerian senator to declare his assets publicly. On the 20th of October 2018, he announced his resignation from the ruling of Progressive Congress APC and defected to the People Redemption Party PRP in Cardona. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.